Evan Bolton comes in with a record of 21 and 12 with one draw. This man stands six foot four, trained by Hung Bo, fighting out of hard works, a veteran in the game. I like Evan Bolton, I like his style, a very awkward but balanced style. He can hit you from any angle, any direction, and he's got those long limbs that kind of spider your way into you. Twenty-six years old. Talked to Evan on my show. Didn't like to be bullied when he was young. Turned out to be a fighter. Now he's doing some pushing around himself. <laughs> Evan Bolton with those purple shorts. Running out of the red corner. Andrew Rivera, this guy is a veteran of 43 fights. 43 fights. That's a lot of war. Stands five foot nine, trained by Manny Mancha out of Fresno, California. This guy actually holds the IKF belt. He's also the World Classic Champion, the USMTO Champion. Calls himself calm and dangerous. Wants to give out a shout out to God, his friends and family, Andrew Rivera. Now these fighters are one and one against one another. Now again, these fighters are one and one against one another now. Both of these are lurking to turn professional, so they want to come off with that win on his belt. Andrew Rivera, the incumbent champion. Evan Bone looking to take that title away. This fight is for five two-minute rounds, five rounds for championship fights for the IKF Southern California welterweight title. Here we go for round number one. And Mark Reyes warns there's no catching in kickboxing. An exchange of kicks coming on. Just firing them off. Incredible speed. These are big boys going for the belt. One trying to retain it, one trying to take it. Mark Reyes warns them again, no catching the kick. You can see the familiarity with these gentlemen. And Rivera getting inside. 
very effectively with Bolton trying to use that range for his favor. It's kind of amazing that Bolton has been able to connect and use that range. But his opponent definitely looking to show him what that belt means. He carries it for a reason. Wants to do damage. Oh, a nice jab there. It came over the cross by Evan Bolton. And Andrew Vera used in those hands, trying to get inside those long limbs of Evan Bolton. Evan Bolton tries to skip in, and Andrew Vera scoring effectively with that uppercut. Evan Bolton trying to use that skip step to come in. And Bolton finding his mark with those long punches. Bicycle kick comes up a little bit short. High kick misses. Rivera accidentally kicks him in the cup. But they tap each other's hands saying, that's OK. Let's keep going. And Bolton scoring with some nice punches. And I'll give it to Bolton for numbers on that one. That one's a hard round to score because in the beginning, Andrew Rivera is finding his mark, getting inside with those punches and then towards the end. Evan Bolton able to keep that distance and then landing those long crosses, long jabs. Tough one to call. Great action tonight. Great action tonight. They got four more rounds of that heat. Once again, Evan Bolton fighting out of the red corner. Andrew Rivera, the incumbent champion, fighting out of the blue corner. And this is for the belt. Between them, they have 77 fights. It's a lot of war behind these gentlemen, and they're showing that tonight. And you can experience, see that experience. This might be a war of attrition. Five rounds of this pace. Let's see who can keep it up. Andrew Rivera, the champion, taking on Evan Bolton. Evan Bolton wants that belt, and he wants to come out and come up a notch on their one and one bouts against each other. Evan with those high kicks. And Evan using that range whenever Andrew moves back. Not intimidated by the belt holder. Evan's really actually showing some skill. Big, big deep kick to the face right there, but just missed its mark. Nice hook, good hand combinations. And Evan Bolton. Walk knee from Evan Bolton. Evan Bolton going to the body too. Not scared to mix it up. He's having some fun. He's showing that he's got some skills. And he belongs here with the champ. Yeah, nice and good get, combination. Getting some you know numbers overall, just throwing, 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 and connecting. I admit, Rivera throws with a vengeance though. And when Vera does throw, he does find his mark. Gonna have to pick up the pace though because Bolton is putting it on. Maybe not so much damage, but definitely connecting. Oh, Rivera just, yeah, he throws with, with respect expected from each punch. He wants to tell you he's connecting. Rivera with a nice body kick. And a nice hook from Rivera. And Bolton trying to come in with that jab. And Bolton just trying to keep the numbers up, keep that pace going. Very good action from round number two. I like the way Bolton uses his jab to get in. Keeps him a little bit busy, keeps his opponent's eyes on his, on his hands while he moves in with his footwork. The thing about Evan, it looks like he's not balanced to strike, and it looks like his hands are over the place, but he can hit you in any direction, yeah. in any angle. And, and, that, and that's a, a very awkward style of the fight. He's like a spider. All these limbs are moving all over the place. Yeah, very unorthodox. I like Andrew Rivera's hands. I like the way he throws that hook. I like when he lands that cross, he lands it very effectively. And he's not giving up that distance. He's trying not to give up that distance to Evan Bolton. That's wise. And Rivera's punches, when they do land, they mean it. They, they find their home and they mean damage. 
And action like this, we couldn't do without what our sponsors, Channel Lumber, Beast Coast Unlimited, Ali Optimal Wellness, and Citizen Athlete Project. Here we go for round number three. You know, they say when you fight the champ, you got to show decisively that you won. And I think Evan's really trying to do that. Oh, he definitely is. An exchange of kicks. The hands are going effectively. Athletic Evan Bolton just throwing from every direction. Rocket fire. Just love seeing that action. He does, and he throws and, and he almost walks and throws his techniques. Very awkward but effective style. And like you said, maybe a difficult fighter to train for. Definitely the volume is definitely going here. Andrew Rivera trying to use that hook to set up that straight cross. Bolton with that kick that comes right in upstairs, downstairs. Push kick. Oh, and a back spin fist. back fist. Like you said, he throws from every direction like a spider and it's coming out. And then a big skip into that kick. And wow, oh wow. Incredible. Moving into these championship rounds. Going into the fourth. And these fighters, both of them, are, keep applying their pressure and they're sticking, they're not quivering from their game plan. And I find that really fascinating that they, under the volume of these techniques, of the volume of these punches, they're sticking to their plan. They're not deviating from that. That's a testimony to their coaches, their camp, and the people that chisel them to make them the fighters that they are. And fight fans, if you're joining us, this is Fighters Rep number 11. My name is David Huey, and I'm here with the Don himself, John Arredondo. My friend, David Huey. All right. And here we go into our championship round. This is round number four. Champ pumping that jab, following up with a big right. Evan Bolton not backing down one bit. And Rivera right now fighting very effectively, moving backwards. Would you say is it doing a good job of uh, staving off his opponent that has the reach and the length advantage? You know, I like Andrew when he's in tighter. And he works a lot more effectively that way. But there he comes and eats a knee from Evan Bolton. Evan Bolton fires another knee, fires a third walk knee. Fighters go on a temporary hold. Our referee Mark Reyes separates them. Certainly makes it difficult to close the distance when you get a knee up to your chest. Oh, no, absolutely. Bolton with that nice push kick. Sets up a nice body kick. Andrew Vera spins it around, throws a small knee. Didn't hesitate to throw that knee. <laughs> Spin back fist by Bolton. Set up good with the double jab right there. I like that. Likes to keep him busy while he thinks of something fancy to throw. Oh, Rivera's not having it, dude. He's coming in with power. You can see Rivera has a, 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 
a little oh, bit of, oh, out. nice, nice high kick that kicks and stays there. That ref wasn't looking, he'd have thrown him out of the ring. <laughs> there he is, going for the fences. Look at that, Rivera showing his power. The champ expressing why he's the champ. Fifth and final round, incredible. You know, I have this even, two rounds a piece. This is the fifth and final championship round. Whoever takes this round may take this fight. Again, it's up to Bolton to decisively show that he can take this fight. Don't leave it in the, in the judgment of the refs. You've got to decisively throw this time. See if he can continue that pace. Rivera looking to knock his opponent out. Show him why he's the champ. Now, I've seen both these fighters fight a lot. I've seen them fight more in Muay Thai. You can see Evans actually made a, a, a pretty good transition to kickboxing. Andrew Rivera, you can see sometimes he wants to catch that kick. He wants to clinch. He wants to fire and turn on, on that knee. But this is for the IKF Southern California welterweight title. The champion, Andrew Rivera, out of the blue corner, taking on Evan Bolton, the challenger, out of the red corner. This is it. Who wants it? Who wants it more? I think that was a legitimate knockdown. Got an eight count. And that may have stolen the round and the fight for Evan. That's the kind of thing he needs to do in this round. And he did it. Let's see if he can keep that up. I think he smells blood. And Evan now playing that counter-attack counter game. Definitely focused. And seeking to do damage. Still bringing his knees up even when they clinch. Or connect, rather. Oh, Rivera with a nice, strong overhand punch. He's got to even this out. Rivera's got that knockout power, so got to be careful with that. Low blow. Low blows happen in that, that, that close connection. Especially if both fighters are kicking at the same time. Sure. In a situation like this, fighters have up to five minutes to recover from that low blow. And I know why. Sometimes it's a glancing blow and it feels like it was a direct hit. Just a sensitive area. And it looks like Evan. Looks like Evan. Evan can go. He should go. Because he knocked down. It's a tough thing to shake out, man. Hats off to Evan for even trying right now. Here we go, the action resumes. Only 50 seconds left in this championship fight. A nice high kick by Bolton. And Rivera really wants to even this out, really wants to keep that, cancel out that 10-8. Nice body kick there by Rivera. I think Evan knows what his game plan is. No matter what, he's countering. And Evan can play it safe right now. He can definitely, he's already got the 10-8 round from that knockdown. He doesn't need to exchange. He can fight this defensively. Keep connecting. The champ knows it too. He's trying to take his head off. And he's throwing everything he got. And they fight to the bitter end. That wow, oh wow. Explosive fight, incredible. Championship incredible. fight, championship caliber. And you have just witnessed five rounds of heavy duty kickboxing action against the champion Andrew Rivera out of the blue corner, taking on the challenger Evan Bolton. Again, these fighters between 77 fights. Let's take a look at the replay. And Evan Bolton trying to skip in. And it's that hands, nice uppercut hooks from Andrew Rivera. Very early in that round, first round, they kind of stole that from him. Evan tries to bicycle a kick in and lands a kick around the guard there. And then Evan Bolton trying to smother with those long punches, comes up with a body kick. And nice push kick by Evan Bolton. 
Andrew Rivera fires a counter attack, and Evan Bone with the spin back fist that gets blocked. And nice, nice uppercut combinations in that kick. And you know, I'm actually not sure if that's a knockdown. They, they took it as that. The judge, judges may have seen it as that. But you're right. Yeah, it looked like he, uh, Andrew was off balance. I don't know if we can see that again, but I'm actually not sure, looking at the replay, if that was actually a knockdown. But it is a knockdown in the judges' scorecards, and that may have st stolen the fight and given that title to Evan Bolton, but it is up to the judges to decide. Hey, nothing short of a war here tonight. Fighters Rep 11, George Francis bringing you a battle for the belt. And George Francis is the guy holding that belt right now. That's our promoter, George Francis. That put Fighters Rep, it's 11th edition here. And you're seeing the first of this championship fight. And these fights are brought by Channel Lumber, Beast Coast Unlimited, Ali Optimal Wellness, and the Citizen Athlete Project bringing you these fights, these actions, and especially this championship fight itself. It's sponsored by Channel Lumber. Five rounds of heavy duty welterweight action for the IKF Southern California title. Between these two warriors, Evan Bolton wearing the blue shorts, Andrew Rivera wearing the team My Lai Pet shorts. My Lai Pet actually is my trainer for Muay Thai. And he's been schooled really well. Fighting out of Manny Macha's gym right now. Manny Macha, student of a My Lai Pet. One of the living legends outside in Fresno right now. It's an incredible lineage to have in this country, to have that background and to have that knowledge. Not having to fly over the ocean. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to send it to Josh Shibata for the official decision. Who will be victorious? And that definitely, that knockdown sealed the deal for Evan Bolton on the scorecards. A great fight between both of them. And each one of them really trying to establish their game plan. this beforehand uh, before this fight you had uh, unfortunately a fight where you had a little setback but you said you learned a lot from that fight what did you learn and how that helped you go into this fight you can't fight to survive no more okay yeah hear me yeah. Chad, Chad, we good uh, on last fight i was very defensive i had like a lot of stuff going on in my head but i have been focused i made a big go to me folks in locked down this fight Make sure I was more aggressive. I came to win. I didn't want a decision. I tried to get a finish, but he's a tough guy. I can't. I, I try. I couldn't sleep him. Sure, sure. And this is uh, the third fight between the two of you. You guys both won one. This was a rubber match. How much more motivated were you to get not only this title but that that second win in this trilogy? Honestly, I love collecting belts, but just getting a W is more important than this fight. Airfoot, nothing at risk. 
I really wanted to win, and then, like you said, I came off the bad loss, so we won a good performance. There you go. There you go. And now, I gotta ask you, because I know a lot of people have been asking you, when are we gonna see the professional fighter, Evan Bolton? Soon. 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 There we go. Perfect answer. All right, do you have anything else you want to tell your fans and friends here at Fighters Rep? Um, first of all, I'm gonna thank God. I'm gonna thank my team, my busy folks. I don't understand, I'm a horrible student, but he deals with me every day. Same thing with my fans, my all my people, my boy Lola, Sam, Pan, everybody from the office has to me, the up and down. Everybody that came out watching fights, and also all of you guys. Take pictures with a champ backstage after the fights.